everybody, it's Amanda back from Amanda Rose Tarot, and we're here today to do another pick a card reading. So today's reading is going to be channeled messages from the person that you're thinking about. Um, so I'm going to be using my channeled messages decks, um, these decks that I've made. They're just handmade, they're not real decks, but to me, uh, I really like them, so I use them. Uh, I also have one card from the Healing with the Fairies Oracle, one card from the Romance Angel Oracle, and one card from the Gypsy Witch, um, their, their playing card deck. Um, it's like a Lenormand deck. So we'll be using that deck as well. Um, I also decided that I'm going to do charms today. I know that people like charms, and I just haven't done them in a while, so I do apologize, but... Um, I want to get back to doing that once in a while for you guys um, because I know you guys like stuff like that. Um, so the first reading is going to be this butterfly. So if you're drawn towards that, that is going to be the first reading. The second reading is this gift tag that says my dream. And the third reading is this cute little teddy bear holding a heart. So. Uh, I'm going to do the energy chime and then I'm going to be quiet and let you focus on which pile you would like. Okay, pick your pile please. Okay, so if you pick the first reading, this cute little butterfly, let's read your channeled messages from your person. You deserve a good guy in your life. I'm sorry, forgive me, won't you please? So um, you can replace the word guy with girl. Um, that's really something that I didn't do, but it's a possibility. Okay, the next card that you have is you. What can I say? I fucked up. Forgive me or I'll just die. Okay, that's a little rough. Your mind is just as sexy as your beauty. I love you. Nice. Not only are you the best lover I've ever, ever had, but I think you're the best cuddle buddy I've ever had. That's cute. Darling, any lady won't do. I need you. I want you to be confident. Do it. Okay. The next card that you have is the Broken Mirror, and this is also the Eight of Pentacles. You've got Make the Effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And you've got Rise Above Problems. Okay. So... I definitely feel like you and this person went through something. I think that there could have been a fight. Maybe this person, um, they just don't know what to say to you. They kind of feel like they screwed up. So um, maybe like you don't think that they screwed up for some of you out there. Others of you out there, they just um, they just don't think that you're they're a good enough person for you. Um, also, um, they could want you to be more confident. Maybe they have, they think you have confidence issues. Um, they think that you would be a great lover. Um, they think that you are a good cuddle buddy. Um, if you guys have cuddled before and they just think that you're sexy, not only your body, but your mind. 
um, they think is really sexy. Um, with the Eight of Pentacles, I think this person, they're working really, really hard. I think that they really want this connection to work. Um, with the broken mirror or the broken glass, um, this person really feels like they've had a lot of bad luck. And I think that they, they want to fix that. They want to fix their life. Um, they think that you deserve a good guy slash girl and they want to be that good guy slash girl for you. So, you know, when it says I effed up, that could mean that, you know, maybe they didn't F up with you that they just in, in general life, maybe they think that, you know, um, you know, you deserve someone better. Um, but it does say, forgive me or I'll just die. So for others out there, I feel like this person really did do you wrong in some way. And um, they want to make the effort to really make this up to you. So I feel like this person, especially with the Eight of Pentacles, this person, they really want to put in the work. Also, this is card number 44. And fours are about, you know, stability. Uh, a firm foundation. Um, so I feel like this person, they want that firm foundation with you. And they know your worth. They definitely know your worth. Maybe they think that you don't know your worth because it says, I want you to be confident. Um, so maybe they think that you don't see how sexy you are. And they think your mind is sexy. Not only your beauty is sexy, your mind is sexy. So this person, they really want to make the effort. So I think they they have a lot of respect for you. And so this person, um, they're gonna take the necessary steps to show you that they love you. Um, you know, I think this person is really worried that if they did try to move forward with you, that you wouldn't, you know, accept them. Um, and I see these, I think they're cherries in the picture, if you can see. And I think it's like, they really want to have like something to offer you. And maybe some of them worry because of this bad luck, you know, that they've been through, that they're going to have to work harder to prove that to you. Um, so I think that um, this person really wants to take action. Um, they're really motivated. They have the courage to take the steps to bring you guys closer together on your pathway. And they want your paths to merge. They feel like intuitively they've been guided to you. And they keep getting these feelings about um, you, um, about you guys being together. Um, so they're really working hard to um, rise above their problems. So like I said, this person, um, they really feel like they've had a spell of bad luck. You know, it could have been um, family members. It could have been, you know, their career. You know, it could have been a number of things. Maybe their living situation because I see kind of like a home there. So maybe they're just worried that, you know, there's so many obstacles that they have to rise above um, to maybe get to your level. Um, because I see how this woman is like kind of defying gravity here. So this person, um, maybe they kind of see you as higher or on a, you know, they put you on a pedestal. Some of them, I think. Um, and I think the solution to, you know, some of their problems, I think it kind of evades them as to, you know, maybe they feel a little bit hopeless sometimes or, you know, just frightened if they moved forward with you that, you know, it wouldn't work out. Um, I think that they're looking for solutions as to um, how they can get over this. Maybe it's just mentally, they just don't feel good enough. Um, they create problems where there's really no problems. Um, 
this person just ha has to kind of be at peace with themselves. And I think that could be one of the problems. Um, so this person has to get back in touch with their faith. Instead of feeling kind of hopeless, um, they need to get more, you know, positive about their emotions so that they can come up with some sort of resolution as to, you know, how they can get to you or how they can make this situation seem not so daunting because I think they feel like it would be a daunting task to try to um, get to your level, you know, because it just says, you know, you deserve a good guy in your life. I'm sorry. So maybe they just don't feel like they're a good guy, you know, or, you know, girl, whatever. Um, so let's get some charms for you if you pick number one. I'm not going to look. Okay. So you got one of my pendants here. This is uh, the rainbow pendant. Um, I did have these for sale on my store, but they weren't selling, so I took them down. But um, these are Tree of Life pendants, and this one is the rainbow one. So I think this person, they think you're a very colorful person. Um, they really see that you have so many diverse sides to you. Um, and that's one of the things that really attracts them to you is that, you know, they never know what they're going to get. You know, one minute you can be really passionate. One minute you can be, you know, um, very caring. One minute you can be you know, focusing on your, your, your prosperity. Some moments you can maybe be kind of conservative. It's like you have so many different sides to you. And then with the black charm here, um, black is really about safety, protection, um, banishing negativity, uh, it's also kind of a classy type color. So this person could see you as very classy. Um, they could think that, you know, maybe uh, you're, you're, you're so classy, you know, that you, um, they, they want to be that person in your life. And um, maybe there's some things that they have to banish, like the negativity from their life. Um, I think they really want to protect you too. They want to keep you safe from maybe uh, other people out there that could want to do you harm or, you know, just really don't love you the way that they do. And we've got the crystal ball. So this person really, I feel like they see you as a person who's very spiritual. You have a lot of power. Um, your third eye is definitely open. You have these psychic gifts um, they really think a lot of you, like I said, they put you on a pedestal, um, and they see, you know, the worth of you. Um, the next charm that you have is this locket. Um, so the locket I take as, you know, they have their feelings kind of locked up inside and they're, you know, they have a hard time speaking about their feelings, um, but they really do love you. They really do love you, but they kind of keep it locked up inside, so you really can't see it. And then I didn't realize that both of these pink earrings were in my charm jar, but uh, they've never come out together. So um, pink is really a color of love, caring, friendship, affection, femininity so they see you as very feminine they see you as a really loving caring person very nurturing person um you've got this orange earring orange is about creativity it's about justice it's it can be about legal matters maybe that's part of the problems that they've been going through maybe some legal matters um but this person they see that you're you're, you bring them a lot of joy. You also have a lot of ambition. Um, they want to celebrate with you. They want to have opportunities to celebrate with you. And then you have the sun charm. So definitely this person sees you as a lot of fun. You bring them happiness. You have, you know, this positive attitude. Maybe they see you as always happy. 
um, you know, this bright shining light. And I feel like they want to, um, they want to be like that too. But I think they've gone through so much. It's hard for them um, to feel like happy. Um, but when they're with you, they are so happy. You make them happy. Um, so that's all I have for you. Hopefully this resonated. Hopefully you like this reading. Let me know down in the comments um, and I can do more readings like this. Um, I really have a lot of fun doing readings like this. So thank you so much for coming. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes. I appreciate you guys so much. Okay, so if you picked number two, my dream, let's see what this person, their message that they would want to say to you. What do I have to do to make this up to you? I will do anything it takes to get you to forgive me. Okay, so I think this person does need forgiveness for something. Did I ever tell you that I get nervous when I'm around you? Ah, that's cute. I love every inch of you, even your toes. You are my queen. Nice. Your soul is beautiful. Hugging you is the only comfort I need. Okay, and your last channeled message, babe, wow, you really, you really rock my world. I love spending time with you. That's nice. Okay, so let's look at your other cards. So you've got the dog, and this is also the four of pentacles. You've got finances and career. And you've got visualization. Okay, so this person, definitely this person, um, they love spending time with you. They are very loyal to this connection, like the dog. You are like their best friend, and that's something that they really treasure. With the Four of Pentacles, uh, I get like this person, uh, you're something that they don't want to let go of. They don't want to um, ever lose this connection. So even if it is just like a friendship, they still wouldn't want to lose it. They, um, they love being with you. Um, you bring them so much joy. Um, they're a little bit nervous when they're around you or they're, they're talking with you. They do get a little bit nervous. Um, so they're kind of working on that. Um, but it's because they really, um, they love you so much. They love every inch of you, even your toes. They also see you as a queen. Um, and they really think you have a beautiful soul. And even if, you know, um, they could never, you know, be intimate with you, like I said, if you could only be friends, um, just hugging you would be enough for this person. So I think... This person definitely, they're very, very loyal to this. And even if it was just like a loving, caring, friendship type relationship, then they that's the only thing that they would want. That's the only comfort that they would need. Um, and they feel like maybe, maybe they've done something. Um, I don't know if it's something they've said or maybe it's something... Maybe they've been jealous or maybe they just they just need forgiveness um, for something that they've done. Um, maybe you don't even know about it. Maybe it's something that they've kept from you. Maybe it's just something that they've thought in their mind. But they really do, they'll do anything it takes to, you know, for you to forgive them and to get back to um, spending time with you. They love spending time with you. And you really rock their world. So um, that's probably why they're so nervous when they're around you. Is because 
you really rock this person's world. And you've got the finances and career card here. So um, for some of you out there, they really think that this could be an obstacle between you. Um, that's something that they want to spend more time with you is what I feel like. Maybe they think that um, this card does talk about... Um, it does talk about maybe overdoing it, like in your career, like there's a lot of pressure on you to be, you know, perfect, to, um, you know, every aspect of your career, you know, I feel like you focus on so hard and maybe they feel like that could be kind of an issue that you just wanna be so satisfied in your career that maybe sometimes you forget how to be playful, laugh, you know, play. Um, it's because you're consumed, you know, with your finances and they really think that it would benefit you to maybe um, spend more time with them. Um, forget about your career sometimes. Maybe they think that, you know, they could really elevate your mood um, if, you know, you would spend more time with them. Um, it would make them feel good and it would bring you peace as well because that could be kind of a thing that, you know, um, they just don't feel like you give them enough time because you're constantly focused on your career opportunities coming in for you, um, your prosperity, you know, your wealth. Um, you're very dependent on that. And that's something that kind of consumes you is what I feel like this person um, would want to tell you, but tell you in the nicest way, because really it is their dream to be with you. So they wouldn't want to say it, um, to hurt your feelings or anything like that. But I think that they do think you're a little bit too consumed with your career. Um, with the visualization card, um, they think that, um, Visually, you are very beautiful. They desire you. Um, the first thing that I see is how this woman's kind of, she's sitting there naked in this pond. So maybe they would want to like go skinny dipping or something like that. Um, but also I think this person, um, they've really been visualizing being with you. They want that happy life um, with you. That's what they desire, and I think this person, um, they they see you in their future. They really see you in their future, and they, they're they trying to manifest it right now. Um, I think they really, um, they want this so badly, and they want to release any fears that it's not going to happen. Um, so they're trying to be positive. They're trying to visualize only positive things, like a positive outcome with you. But they're a little bit nervous that maybe you don't want to take things beyond like a friendship level. Um, they're happy with that. You know, if you just want to be friends, that will be uh, a comfort to them to know that, you know, you're always going to be there. But at the same time, it's, you know, that would leave them feeling you know, a little bit bored with this connection if it never went, you know, to the next level because they love your body so much, you know. They love every inch of your body. It says here, even your toes. So this person, um, you know, they get really nervous um, about this connection because they don't know what you want, so... Uh, let's get some charms for a little more information about this connection. Okay. All right. We only get a few, but that's okay. Um, so you got E, so they could have an E in their name, somewhere in their name, their first name, their middle name, their last name. Um, you've got this little tiny white bead. 
Um, so this is about divination. Um, it's about peace, purity, healing. Uh, maybe they think that um, you need a little bit more faith in this connection. Maybe they just don't think that you have enough faith in this connection. Um, and we've got the locket again. So the locket is really about hidden uh, emotions, hidden love. So they're not coming out with it. They're not letting you know what's really in their heart. It's closed up tight inside and, and they just haven't let you know about that. Um, you've got this green um, charm here. And green is about growth. It's about luck. It's about the earth, nature, plants, trees. Uh, it can be about jealousy. I did mention jealousy here that could play into this. This person could be really jealous um, maybe of other people around you. Um or jealous of your success, maybe with the finances and career, maybe you're doing um, really good financially. So maybe sometimes they get jealous and, you know, they don't want to, they, they're they sorry about that. Um, you've got this, um, this is Rose Quartz and Rose Quartz is about romance, love, it's about unconditional love. So this person loves you unconditionally, no matter, you know, if you make more money than them, make less money than them. They don't care about the finances and career so much. Um, or at least they're trying not to. Maybe some of them out there are a little bit jealous if you do make more money than them. Um, and then you've got this blue eraser. And blue is about, um, it's about protection. It's about calmness. It's about water. Um... It could be about sadness. Uh, it can also be about forgiveness. So maybe this person, they're a little bit sad. They want forgiveness. Um, maybe they want to go somewhere near the water. I get that with this card. Maybe they want to take you somewhere, um, spend some time with you near the water. Um, so that's what I'm getting for you if you pick number two. Hopefully you like this reading. Let me know down in the comments um, if that resonated for you. Um, also reach out to me if you would like a personal reading. My link to my Etsy is right down below in the comments. In the description box, I mean. Okay, and last but not least, if you pick this cute little teddy bear, let's see, what would this person want to say, with you, say to you? Some channeled messages. I need more fun times with you, baby. Please forgive me. Okay. I promise I'm all yours. I'll never leave you again. Okay. You're the best at cuddling. I want to grow old with you. You are so special to me. I didn't know what true love was before I met you. I love you. Your capacity for kindness is boundless. How did I get so lucky? Okay, let's look at your other cards. Okay, you've got the four of wands and this is also the key. You've got new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. And you've got problems resolved. Okay. So for some of you out there, this could be a new love. Um, others of you out there, this could be a, a renew of a love. So it could seem like it's new. Um, what I'm getting with that card. This person, um, they want to spend more time with you. Definitely, that's one of the things that I'm getting here is that they just, um, you are so special to this person. They think you are so kind. Um, they think that, you know, they got lucky when they met you. Um, and you are their true love. You know, you showed them what true love was all about. And they promise they're all yours. So maybe you questioned whether this person you know, was talking to other people or was, 
with other people. Maybe you know for a fact that they were, but it says, I promise I'm all yours. I'll never leave you again. So maybe this person, for some of you out there, it's not going to resonate for everybody. Some people, this person left and they want to come back. So they want a new chance with you. Others, it's just that this person wants you to know that they're not going anywhere. You are the one that they want to be with. They want to grow old with you, you know? Um, they think you're so kind. You're so special to them. Um, they want more fun times with you. For some of them out there, they definitely want to marry you. The This is the four of wands. So this person, they want something, you know, solid. They want to live under the same roof. They want to be together. They want to have a family type, um, you know, scenario with you. Um, and with the key here, I think they're really looking at what is the key to making that happen. You know, they really, they don't want to lose you. They want to keep you and they're focusing on what do they need to do to protect this connection. Um, they want you to know that this is true love and they promise, you know, they are all yours. They are not going with anybody else. They don't want you to doubt that. They, they want to grow old with you, not with anybody else. Um, so some of you, they want forgiveness for maybe other people around. Um, we've got the problems resolved here. So there could have been some problems, um, and it could have been focused on them leaving. It says, I'll never leave you again. Um, so some of them could have left you. And, you know, they want to resolve that problem. They want this new love with you. Um, they want to heal things with you. Um, whatever it is, you know, they want to win in this situation. So this card really talks about there's good news coming in for you. If, you know, this is a strained connection, a strained relationship, um, it could even be financial resources that you've been looking for to resolve some of your financial issues. It could even be an addition to your home, you know, a person moving in. Um, it's solutions to the problems that you're feeling. Um, so this is just saying that be excited, have get gratitude, that heaven is working behind the scenes um, to fix some things in your life. So you know, this person could really be a godsend for you. It could be that this person's come in and they're going to help you to resolve some of the problems that you have in your life. Um, maybe um, you've had problems with other people that haven't been loyal. Um, maybe they're just, you know, uh, they want you to know that they're loyal to you and um, they just want you, you know, they you have stirred these feelings up within them. Um, maybe this is kind of a new thing for them because it says, I didn't know what true love was was before I met you. And it says this person has stirred your romantic feelings. So maybe this person, um, they th think that um, the other people that they were with before you, um, they weren't that was like karmic relationships that was just preparing them for this connection with you. Um, that's kind of been the key to, um, how they, how they got so lucky. That's what it's been, the things that they've been through, you know, um, God's been working, um, uh, behind the scenes, you know, to bring this perfect person to you. So I feel like this connection, it's going to be mutual. Definitely, you guys are both going to feel it. Um, you know, and I get with this this man down on his knee that this person would want to propose to you. And especially with the four of wands, this person, and it says, I want to grow old with you. So this person definitely, uh, they want, they think it's, you know, it must be destiny that they met you. They want this commitment with you. They want this promise and um, they're dedicated to that. You know, they're dedicated to showing you um, that they have faith in this connection. So let's get some charms for you. 
I really like that reading. Okay. Ooh. So we got the ring. So definitely this person, like I said, this person does want a commitment with you. They're not messing around. They want something long-term with you. Um, you've got this tarnished heart. So like I said, you know, um, if you've had problems in the love department, this person wants to come in. They want you to let them have the opportunity to kind of heal your heart, to work on your heart. If it has been tarnished, this person, they want to shine it back up. That's what they want to do. You've got an E, so they could have an E in their name, in their first name, last name. Um, you've got this cute little cat. So cats are really about patience. So, um, you know, they can sit underneath a tree and wait forever to pounce on something. So I think this person, they're ready to be patient. Um, they want something long-term with you and they're going to wait. Um, they're going to move at the pace that they feel like is good for you. And they're curious. They want to know what the key is like I said, to your heart, to getting you. And you've got this eye. So definitely this person, they're keeping an eye on you. They're watching you. If you have social media, they're on there. They're looking at you. They're seeing what you're up to. Um, you've got two orange. Um, and, and this E is orange too. So you've got a lot of orange here. Orange is about creativity. It's about joy. It's about celebration. Um, and the Four of Wands is about that too. So this person wants to celebrate with you. They want to have these times together. Um, maybe they want to go somewhere with you. Go away. Um, and you've got this. Um, this is the Rose Quartz. So they have unconditional love for you. They have a lot of love for you. And you've got this Crystal Ball earring. So this person, they do think that you have psychic gifts. Um, they do think that you're an intuitive person. They do think that you're a spiritual person, that you, maybe you have a lot of spiritual power. And they really, you know, they think they got so lucky with you, definitely. They see you as a star as well, is what I'm getting here. So that's all I have for you, number three. I really hope you like this reading. I hope it resonates for you. Let me know down in the comments. Um, if you like this reading about your situation, I do read all of your comments. So thank you so much if you've commented on my videos. Thank you for subscribing. Don't forget to go over to my community page. I'm doing a free reading giveaway right now. So make sure you participate in that. So sending you love and light and blessings. And I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.